Hey everybody, welcome, welcome back to ME, my hook and eye advent calendar edition. It is December 2nd, so we are opening number two. This is from Vicki Howell's 24 Days of Yay, yarnyay.com. And yesterday we had a spool of yarn from Plied Yarn, and it was beautiful hand plied pink and purple. This feels like a mini hank more akin to what I'm used to in a in an advent calendar let's see the other thing I'm trying to figure out is whether or not what number pan friend it goes is from my friend Becky so once again this features 20 independent makers and it can be yarn it can be notions these are going to be short little videos all right i'm going to pull out the card first 24 days of yay chrysalis yarns chrysalis yarns all right let's see what we got here chrysalis yarns founder melinda dyan is a poet turned indie dyer ooh, whose hope is to inspire passion oops sorry i don't have leggings on <laughs> my legs would show. Um, all right, let's start over. Melinda Dyan is a poet turned indie dyer whose hope is to inspire passion for fiber, science, and literature. Go to chrysalisyarns.com. And it's not, it's Dyan, D-A-D-Y-A-N, but that is kind of a fun name for somebody who dyes yarn. All right, and once again, we have recommendations for a swatch. So, and each swatch, oh, this is kind of cool. Each swatch has a different stitch, I think. I think. Let's pull out number one here. Yeah, okay. So, number one was a seed stitch. Number two is a crossover stitch. So, I wonder if you're going to end up with squares kind of the same size when you swatch it doesn't necessarily say yet but we shall figure that out as the month goes on because that could be cool to have like a mini swatch blanket of all the stitches that you tried let's see Ooh, this is super soft oh my oh my that is super soft okay let's see what we got so this is a fossey dk mini 70 percent baby alpaca 20% silk, 10% cashmere. No wonder. Oh my goodness. No wonder. Chrysalis Yarn Co. And the color is Trim the Tree. It's like a beautiful deep green teal color. And oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. And you know what? It says it's DK. But I would say that's almost a four. And I love it when indie dyers do weight that crocheters can use. Because a lot of indie dyers, I feel like, do a lot of sock weight and fingering weight. So yay for chrysalis yarns. All right. As usual, I will put all the information in the description below. Let me know what you think I should do with all these mini skeins I'm getting. I'm kind of liking the idea. We'll see what our next stitch is next time. Because I don't know a ton of, I don't know a ton of stitches. So, I will link this in the comments below. Go check her out, Chrysalis Yarns. That is so soft. Hello, day two. This yarn was crossover stitches. And honestly, this yarn was a delight. It is still super duper, super duper soft. I, out of all the yarns I have swatched, this is one of the ones that I am most likely to go buy with my own money. Part of that I think is because it is, um, it's a, where did I, did I lose the thing? It's a silk, it's got silk in it and you can totally feel it's got silk in it. It was a little bit splitty. I'm reading my notes here um, as it went, but not like, 
not super annoyingly so. Um, and not to the point to where it affected the swatch. So the crossover stitch though, I have to say, I had to look up how to do it. Um, their recommendations were a little bit different than anything I found on the internet. Um, the It was skip one stitch, front post double crochet in the next stitch, front post double crochet in the skitch, stipped, <laughs> skipped stitch. <laughs> so um, it was a little bit confusing. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. Uh, yeah, you can kind of see where it crossed over. Honestly, I didn't feel like their swatch recommendation recommendations really did the best job at sl at showing off this yarn. I purposefully did not cut this because I fully intend to frog this and find some other use for this beautiful, I mean, the color is gorgeous. The fiber content is outrageously delicious. This just begs to be made in something that's going to show off the yarn and not try to show off a texture if if i had to say that super squishy super soft would buy it in a heartbeat if i uh i have a feeling it was like 34 dollars this game did i put that on here uh no but i have a feeling with the fiber content i thought i looked up the cost of this game when i went back into the swatches but apparently not my bad anyway loved it thank you to chrysalis yarns i would absolutely absolutely get this for something super special